With chicken wings planned for dinner tonight, we're going to do the brine this afternoon. That way it has several hours for the brine to soak into the chicken and give it all those flavors that we're looking for. The brine will also give the chicken wing a lot of moisture and the moisture will help keep it juicy during the air frying effect. We're also going to add something closer to the air frying time that's going to give it an extra little crispy And start with our water, which is always filtered cold water. We're going to start with our basics, of course. All of the measurements here are one half tablespoon to one teaspoon. It's not important because it's not going to be cooked in this. It's just going to be resting in this for a few hours. Salt. Pepper, our basics, of course. Then we're going to have some chicken bouillon. After the chicken bouillon, we're going to have some ginger, garlic powder, thyme, dried cilantro, and dill. And get all those spices all mixed up and hydrated. This is the freezer pack from uh, chicken sections that we've had in the freezer prior to the ones that we just processed on the last video. I'm going to mix that up really good. Look at all those spices in there. Kind of looks like swamp water, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We're going to seal this up. Burp the air. The time has come to check out the brine. There is our chicken that has been brining for the last, uh, let's see, three hours. You can smell all those spices. Touch the outside of the bowl, it's still quite cold. You can see all these wonderful spices now. That one's going to have a lot. We're going to take these spices that are here in the strainer, try to pull a few of them out, just enough to flavor the garlic butter sauce. The chicken has been brined. It is filled with all kinds of flavor. But it's also filled with a lot of moisture. I like chicken wings crispy on the outside. So we're going to get rid of some of the outside moisture. But the brining has gone into the meat. And the inside will be tender and juicy. And just delicious. But the outside will be crispy. We hope. Don't think we need to add any more spices. We're certainly not going to add any salt. And I'm going to show you what we are going to add. We're going to add some baking powder. 
we're not adding so much baking powder that we're going to get the dry mouth chemical taste. We're adding just enough to put a soft, light dusting on the outside of the chicken. So the chicken will be crispy and crunchy and golden brown with the inside juicy and spicy. I like to alternate the chickens in the fry basket. And I like to put the skin to the top. We're going to fry these in a toaster oven so we will not be turning them midway. I put the thickest part of the uh, drum towards the center, right below the fan. We're going to put these in the air fryer oven for about 20 minutes. We'll check the temperature close to that time and we'll adjust the cooking time accordingly. In the meantime, while these are baking, we'll be making our dipping sauce. We have a little bit of olive oil here in the pan. To that olive oil, we're going to add our butter. We don't want it to get too terribly hot, so we're trying to cook it. We're trying to keep it on a very low flame, and that flame can't be much lower without going out. Oh, like that. Okay, let's get it back rolling. We're going to add the drippings from the brine. That's going to be a lot of seasoning in that, so it's going to be very, very, very strong. You don't have to do this. You can use your very own seasonings if you want. You can tone it down with just maybe some salt, pepper, and garlic. Be done with it. We've added a little bit more butter. What we're doing is cooking some of those spices that were in the brine. We're cooking them in that butter sauce. Here is our diced garlic. Nice chunks. How about something to steer with that doesn't make a lot of noise? Yes. All we've done is we've taken a little bit of olive oil, a lot of butter, we've added the seasonings or the drippings from our brine, and we've added about two ounces of minced garlic. Boy, editing this is going to be fun. And all we're going to do is set that off to the side and get it ready. 20 minutes in the air fryer, plenty of time for these particular wings. As we speak. I would like them to look a little bit crispier, wouldn't you? They're definitely at the right temperature. I like them a little bit crispier looking, even though we're going to ground them in the butter. Uh, so I'm going to give them about, I'm going to give them three, four minutes in the boil. There we are. Isn't that beautiful? Look how juicy they look. They don't look, look at that. They're not all shriveled up. Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful, juicy wing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You gotta love those juices. Get some garlic sauce all in there. Get it all in there. You can feel that garlic all night long. Yes, you are. But they wouldn't be garlic parmesan without parmesan. Let's plate this and get ready to ring the dinner bell.
we have some shade parmesan. And we're just going to sprinkle there on the top. Okay, let's chow down. No, you're not going to watch me eat wings. I'm entirely too messy. And there are our wings. Yep. And a napkin. The most important thing in eating wings is that napkin. Okay, I said I'm not going to let y'all watch me eat wings, but I want you to see the juice that's coming out of this wing. Mmm, delicious. Mm.